So I just finished putting the drywall and the, the putty. I'm going to be sanding it shortly. Um, like I said before, this time I used the long drywall. So one piece goes all the way from the ceiling to the bottom. And as with the last room, I actually ran out of a few pieces, so I used the old one that I took from the closet. It's a different color, but of course after painting it all looks the same. Here there's a tiny, very tiny strip I had to put between the two parts of the closet. It's about four or five centimeters wide. So that's ready to be sanded. And then tomorrow or the next day I'll be painting. And I'll take a, I'll, I guess, do another video together with the sanded part and then the painted part all together. So I sanded the walls yesterday. And uh, this time I took more care when I put the putty that uh, I only have a few small spots that I have to retouch like this. Just a few small spots. And uh, so just one time and then I'll be painting actually very shortly. <coughs> so yeah, it, I went very carefully this time. Uh, much easier. Yeah, it's very smooth. Very smooth and the corner. So I sanded the walls yesterday. And uh, this time I took more care when I put the putty that uh, I only have a few small spots that I have to retouch like this. Just a few small spots. And uh, so just one time and then I'll be painting actually very shortly. <coughs> so yeah, it, I went very carefully this time. Uh, much easier. Yeah, it's very smooth. Very smooth. And the corners, I, uh, I'll show you, I bought some new tools for the corners. And it's so much easier to do the corner tools. So here we go. So the corners, last time I just used a regular spatula but then I found out there's actually a corner spatula I can buy. So all smooth. So here are the tools. Last time I only had the first spatula on the left and I bought that corner spatula. So much easier. And then for cutting the uh, drywall I use these knives so this is uh, before I bought like a, a one dollar knife not very useful and then I got this it uh, it has a guide it's so easy and a good measuring tape also I had again just a one dollar measuring tape not good enough <coughs> so I'm gonna paint it later today and second coat tomorrow now finish this video all right so just finished painting a lot smoother than the first room this uh, little strip here was a little difficult it's very <laughs> narrow
but just now I'm gonna start doing the ceiling. All right, so I just finished painting. A lot smoother than the first room. This uh, little strip here was a little difficult, it's very <laughs> narrow. <coughs> but just now I'm going to start doing the ceiling. You can see at the top I put insulation all around to cover that section that was open and in a previous video I showed what happened here because there was no insulation the, uh, <coughs> the heat from inside the room would uh, meet with the cold from the outside and it would create condensation and the, uh, the siding all uh, bubbled up from the moisture so just now I'm going to put the insulation in the ceiling and then the ceiling tiles and uh, after that just a little uh, thing stick the tape out and so on I put some plastic at the ceiling to catch the um, dirt when I'm taking on when I'm uh, renovating the room upstairs the uh, gonna be lots of dirt that falls between the cracks so I don't want it to fall into the insulation here so I put this plastic to stop it and when I take it on the floor then I can just remove it and that way the dirt will fall towards the uh, the room next door and that room I haven't done yet so it doesn't matter that it falls on that room hopefully that will stay there but it's just a little dirt that falls out that's it and the room stops at that big beam there so I just uh, finished the ceiling now I took away the tapes around the windows looks a lot cleaner I had to put um, in the corner here after I added the uh, the drywall it sticks out so I have to put a, a last to fill that gap here same up there and then I can put the door back in so the ceiling is done I haven't cleaned yet so it's still a little bit dirty and I'm still a whole bunch of stuff in the middle but tomorrow that's all going and tomorrow night our son's gonna sleep in here so this room is done just a little thing to do putting the plug I feel the plug cover plug is already there so here it is, second room is finished. I'm actually uh, quite exciting about the next uh, two rooms. I'm going to do two rooms, one on top of each other. And also at the same time, I'm going to change the stairs. So I'm going to put the stairs at the end of the house. Right now it's in the middle. So that will give us, I guess, more space but more it more importantly allow us to have a bigger room in the middle which we don't have now so that's the next project pretty exciting okay next time bye